I said, you have to earn persecution. We should expect persecution. Now, why are we persecuted? The lifestyle we show. We're salt. Now, we know the salt flavors, but I will tell you something else. You rub salt in a wound, it irritates. It stings. And we're light. And when people are in a dark room and you turn on the light, <laughs> they say, hey, turn off that light. Men hate the light because their deeds are evil. Now, when I'm talking about persecution, you must understand there's a difference between persecution and punishment. Punishment comes from good people when we do bad. Persecution comes from bad people when we do good. Do you know what the word persecute literally means? It means to pursue. To pursue. That, it, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to put you in irons. It doesn't necessarily mean they're going to pour boiling oil on you. They're going to be pursuing you. And the idea is a pursuit to find something that you're doing wrong. The Pharisees said, look. You see him down there, huh? Yeah, like hee-haw. You know, they're rising up out of the cornfield. <laughs> Following him. Watching him. Trying to find something that they could blame him with. I'm going to surprise you. It may shock you, but did you know they'll tell lies about you? They will tell lies about you. Oh, for the ability to walk with strong tread straight ahead and let them yap and snarl, growl and bark to their heart's content. And then he said, God, give us men whom the acclaim or howling threat of the multitude do not move. Men who walk amid criticism, condemnation, anathema, cursings, content to know that in their very molding and making there is something so royal as to defend them forever against such mouthing. Men who are too tall for stooping. Men whose ears are too close to heaven to hear the little growls from the throats of the worm-like things of earth like we always do about this time. <laughs>